Okay, I don't have uh, anything to disclose. All right, so first I started with intrarenal causes of our AKI. Um, um, it, uh, the interstitial nephritis um, uh, comprise about 5%, while the most common cause is ATN, which is about 80%. So together, tubular interstitial injury is the most uh, uh, common and major intrarenal related AKI. Simple principle I wanted to remember. Under the normal circumstances, interstitial is not visible. If, if you see interstitial, that means there's a disease process. Okay, just remember that. So the pathological interstitial changes, e either focal or diffuse, commonly there's a three patterns. Inflammation, edema, or fibrosis. Okay, so this, is, this is slide here shows there's a tubule here, looks relatively preserved. However, there's many in interstitial inflammatory cells. In this case, the uh, yellow arrow indicating a lymphocyte in this case. Uh, with a fuel eosinophil here. So this is a, a interstitial inflammation pattern. Okay, again, the tubule here looks pretty uh, preserved. Uh, again, there's an inflammatory cells in the interstitial. Um, here, in addition, there's a, those uh, empty space. This is a pattern of interstitial edema. If you see this pattern, okay? Now, this is a, a phenomenon we call thyroidization. And thyroidization is comprised with tubules filled with uromodulin protein, and the interstitial is filled with collagen deposit protein, while there's a fewer, if you notice that fewer inflammatory cells uh, in the interstitial. In addition to that, the epithelium is flattened of the tubular, this is indicating tubular uh, atrophy. And so this is a, a chronic pattern, okay? A fibrosis pattern. Okay, let's talk about uh, AKI, uh, AIN, acute interstitial nephritis. It's the most common cause of AKI. In fact, um, it may be even more common uh, than we, we know because um, uh, we don't normally uh, biopsy or often biopsy someone we suspect a, uh, AIN. Uh, there's a studies that have suggested AIN may be comprised about 15 to 27 percent of biopsies for uh, AKI, and in one percent of the, those so-called healthy individuals who are biopsy for isolate proteinuria or hematuria, and in about one to 15 percent of all biopsies in patients with renal disease. However, drugs is, is still the most common cause of AKI, it accounts for about 70%. Renal biopsy is still the definitive diagnostic modality. Okay, so remember this. Um, a AIN, the most inflammatory interstitial infiltrate cells are T cells, and most common are either monocyte or lymphocyte. Okay, fibrosis uh, pattern can be seen as early as within seven to 10 days, and granuloma patterns can occur, and commonly it's drug-related. Okay. The clinical presentation of AIN has been very heterogeneous, so the diagnosis of AIN still heavily depends on history taken and physical examination, all right? And when the AIN is induced by drugs, the onset could be range from days to weeks. Now, when you're looking for signs, looking for signs either related to allergic reaction or infection. I mean, give an example of penicillin-induced AIN. There's a so-called hypersensitivity triad. Um, that means skin rash, fever, and eosinophilia, right? Uh, know that the triad is very uncommon in NSAID-induced AIN. Okay, uh, patient with AIN uh, 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 induce a renal failure usually last days to weeks, and they often uh, present with oligouric, and phenol usually is greater than one. Okay, 
Uh, urine analysis, commonly, you, know, you all know that hematuria and pyuria. Okay, now, AIN is a, the most common cause of AIN is the drugs, as I mentioned earlier. However, uh, infection by bacteria, viral or parasite, autoimmune disease, neoplasm, or acute allograft react reaction can also cause AIN. Okay, you see this slide before, right? Um, a lot of inflammatory cells in the interstitium uh, with lymphocyte, eosinophil. So this one is the most common thing in drug-induced. This is a drug-induced pattern. Okay, all right. This is a pattern of granuloma pattern here with multinuclear cells with as, long, uh, as well as many uh, eosinophil inflammation. Uh, infiltrate in the interstitial. This pattern is commonly seen in the drug induced as well. Okay. 